This week on Sportsman TV is all about archery. From bow hunting whitetails to bow fishing for redfish, we're getting into anything we can do with a stick and string. Come go with us. The biggest thing is right now, as you can tell, all the leaves are still on trees. It's early. These deer are nocturnal. I put a pile of rice bran out and put a camera on it. You know, at night when they move around a little bit, we're right close to a big bedding area too. That's the other big key. These deer don't get up and move like they do during the rut. You know, they'll get up and move a mile. Okay, now they get up and move 400 yards. River's right there. They get some water, something to eat. That's all they're interested in. Uh, I just put a rice bran pile out, put a camera on it, dump a pile out. The other thing it allows me to do is get a good look at the deer. Typically when one comes to that pile to eat like that, you get him from every angle. You get a chance to see what kind of horns he's got. Gives you a better opportunity to age the deer's body and you get some really cool pictures. This time of the year early, I'm gonna move this camera to a different location after it's been here for a few days and I won't move far. Like if it's during the rut, you know, you can you can move you can cover a lot bigger area with a camera this time of the year you know i'm only gonna move about 500 yards because that's literally you'll move it 500 yards and get pictures of totally different deer you know because they're not moving very far where during the rut one camera will cover a mile square uh well we've identified a potential shooter uh you know he's a big 10 point very mature body uh you know, he's pot-bellied, big big head, big mature, you know, big mature deer. He's a five or six year old deer. He's a little weaker on his left side than he is on his right side. His right side's a little bit better. Everything on his left side is smaller. His brow tine, his G2. Um, I mean, but still, I mean, he's, he's very impressive. Well, you can tell by his body posture that he's a dominant deer. Every other deer that comes, you know, to the area and tries to eat, he's keeping them run off. You know, they're they're afraid of him. Uh, you know, I think there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna go to that area and hunt that deer. Whoa. That's that scary one right there he's been looking for us. <laughs> he's like, I found you. <laughs> what are you doing in there staring at us? He's possibly a spike. <laughs> Here at Bowie Outfitters, we know that bow hunting is a year-round pursuit of perfecting your game. That's why we operate a full indoor archery range, stock our shelves with the best accessories on the market, and offer a service and repair shop. We carry top brands like Hoyt, Bowtech, PSE, Matthews, Bear, Barnett, Mission, Ten Point, and more. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Arctic Ice loves the outdoors. Wherever your next adventure takes you and your cooler, use Arctic Ice to keep your food and drinks cold and dry. It's also great for keeping live wells cool, so fish and bait stay healthy. You can even keep frozen food or game frozen for days. Cold or frozen, Arctic Ice has got you covered. Three brands of Arctic Ice let you choose the temperature you want for your cooler. You never have to buy ice again. Watch the videos at arctic-ice.com. Check out our new chill and brew team sport colors, great for tailgating. Remember, it's not just ice, it's Arctic Ice.
Don't just be a sportsman. Look like one, too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman brand apparel and accessories are just a click away at 4 T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, tumblers, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit 4 today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. We got our hog. Oh, check this out. Oh, we got the hog. Look at that there. We got us a big hog. Well, we, we found the pig, she only went about 50 yards. PSC Fever did it big on this big hog here. So, wow. What a good morning. Fun hunt. Just trying to get warmed up. First bow hunt of the year. Just trying to get my first bow kill. I'm very, very nervous right now. Well, the biggest thing about a crossbow, like this year I fished a lot. I hadn't had the opportunity to shoot my compound bow a lot. And, and truly, you owe it to the animal if you're gonna if you're gonna bow hunt with a traditional bow compound, recurve, whatever, it's, you need to spend two or three days a week practicing. And I haven't had the opportunity to do that, but yet I'm wanting to go deer hunting. And here it is, early season. The crossbow, a lot like shooting a rifle. I mean, I can just about put it in anybody's hand, sight the scope in, a couple times get it shooting, I can hand it off to him or somebody else, and you know, it's, uh, it's shooting right, so. She's torn. I think that one was torn. Oh. Good shot. Really? On the first one? Well, uh, I'd like to say I got my first bow kill. Not sure yet. We went to go look for her, and uh, 
she got up and ran. I, I could see she was hit really well. We watched the footage. We know she's hit. It just it wasn't in the exact spot you know I thought I thought it was. So we're gonna come back in a little while with a dog. Hopefully we find her because I'm trying to get that first bow kill. You're cooking that. Uh, we're gonna have a little squirrel and gravy and some rice. Pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, right now I'm just browning the squirrel a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it off the fire and put some onions back in the. The deal, uh, you know, put some onions, saute some onions. Well, I'm, I'm just uh, deglazing my pan with some water, and then I'm gonna cheat on mine. I'm gonna use a little, a little instant gravy mix, and uh, and basically, I'm just gonna add it and whisk it in, and I'm gonna add it to the thickness that I like. You can make it as thick as you want, as thin. Since it's gonna cook a good while, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean a little on the thin side, you know, not make it real, real thick right off. And so basically I season my onions. So that'll add a little bit to the seasoning to my gravy. And then of course I season my squirrel a little bit before I uh, before I brown them. I'm just gonna make sure each piece is, you know, gets down in the gets down in the gravy. And as I add more to it, of course, the my liquid level will rise. And you're gonna get some juice from the squirrel. So I want them just you know, like right at the surface, just barely, uh, just barely covered or not quite covered because after it cooks a little bit, you're gonna end up with some more liquid. Basically now all I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get them all in here and get them situated and get them covered, put a lid on it, turn the fire down super low and just time. You know, I let it cook 45 minutes, I'll check it, see if I, you know, if I need to do anything to it. Just and then when it gets fork tender, I'll know it's ready. When I get, when I can just take a fork and it sticks in the meat, it's, it's done. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. The 2015 Dream Season Decree is a deadly combination of speed and precision. It's built for the moments when time stands still when the only thing that will break the silence is an arrow slicing a clean path to the kill zone. The bow of your dreams is a nightmare for big game. This is PSE's decree. Experience PSE. Experience performance. The original Sportsman Cool Breeze shirt has been greatly improved. This new version has a moisture activated cooling technology which actually turns your sweat into cooling power. Ventilated mesh sides add extra breathability. It's UPF rated and antimicrobial. It comes in five different colors and is now also available in short sleeve. Get yours now at forsportsman.com. Sportsman, it's who we are. I'm Stephen Parks and I'd like to introduce you to Blue Wave Boats. It's been founded and owned by the Parks family since 1992. We specialize in building custom, high performance, quality fishing boats. So there is no more having to settle. Each Blue Wave boat ranks high in every category that matters from the speed, the quality, the performance, and the features built into the boat. We've loaded these boats with everything you're going to need to make your day on the water a success every time. Oh, I think she'll be right there. I don't think she'll be very far. That's always the best thing to do is to just back out, give them a chance to uh, you know, we could have done that at first, but we were, you know, pretty confident it was a good hit. And I, I didn't think she went very far, and she literally went 20 yards. Um, you know, if we'd had any idea, we'd have just left her right there. But uh, I still don't think she, you know, probably another 100 yards or so. See it right here? She looked like she was bedded right here. There's some right here. Oh yeah, she's bleeding good. Where 
at you? Right here. There it is right there. Okay, so it's probably gonna be up here somewhere. Don't run it. There's some right there. Where? Oh. Looks like she said it. She, she there she is. Oh yeah, she didn't go very far. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We got her, got my first bow kill. Um, man, I practiced all summer, but you practice and you practice standing up at a target and we was in a box stand and you had to lean back and it just, it was so different from what I'm used to. So I guess that's, I don't know, it could, I, I'd probably torque the shot to the left, but she's dead, PSC, X-Force technology, good solid hit. Even though it wasn't in the right spot, was still enough to kill her, so I'm pumped. Well, basically, this is a pretty cool setup. That that box stand that we hunted out of was not there because of this persimmon tree. It was just kind of a coincidence. This is also a really good place that funnels a lot of deer because of the ditches. But, you know, it's early season right now, and persimmons are really sweet, and deer love sweet. We know that from all these sweet feeds that are produced, you know, as deer attractants or whatever. But this is Mother Nature natural persimmon, and I mean this tree is loaded. Also, you can tell I mean, there's deer feces all over the ground. I mean, they literally beat the ground out clean here. Now, I will tell you this particular tree, and I knew this, I scouted this tree before this hunt and knew that it had persimmons on it. It does not have them every year. It's actually had them the last two years, but it's not a guarantee. And then some years, you know, the trees will rotate. Like, this one may not have persimmons, but there, there'll be another one, and you just have to scout every year for that and find it. But And they know, like, if you start to get a big wind, they know that they just pile out, but they're gonna come here every day and check. And like I said, it amazes me how many fell, you know, have fell last night. I mean, it's it's been rebaited and ready to go again. Well, the biggest thing, the bows that we make are able to be snapshot, kind of like a recurve. So you don't, they're constant draw weight. So anybody in the boat can shoot them. It doesn't matter if you're drawing back 25 inches or drawing back 30 inches, one bow will fit everybody. And what it allows you to do, you don't have to come to full draw and break it over an anchor. You can snap shoot it like you used to snap shoot a recurve, but you got the mechanical advantages of a compound, which gives you a lot more power, a lot better air flight, and you know, the penetration is just unreal, even when you're shooting something big like that. So it's, it's really a big advantage, and the real cost effective, you know, anybody can get into this sport. There's, there's gar and trash fish everywhere in the country, and it's just a great sport to go out and enjoy shooting, whether it's in the off season or you do it full time. Oh, look at our seat pad, seat pad. Got him. Yep, got it. Good shot. We're using AMS style reels here, an AMS reel here. Basically, it's got a, it's got two spools that press the line together. It's not a traditional reel that has drag. You can kind of put pressure on it. A lot of times you'll just go to your hands and, and fight them down with your hands because it it's really a great system because it's free floating all the time. So you don't get that drag on the air like you would with a traditional reel. If you put that with a good compound bow and you can shoot a lot faster, get the air back in and get it reset. And it's really a nice system. The, the string goes into this bottle. It doesn't get kinked up. It doesn't, you don't get knots. And it's a really safe system that allows you to shoot really quick. That's right over the top of it. That's the way I like it. That's the way I do. Nice. Look at my boy sitting there shooting him out the back of the boat. Right here, right here, right here. Come on.
to you. Oh, oh he just pulled and broke my hair off. Hey, cat. Got me a little sheep head right here. Doing pretty good tonight, though. Boys from BSC can shoot, huh? Yeah, they're shooting well, man. They're shooting really good. It's nice to have a few guys that can shoot some fish on the boat. Got another one up right there. Bowie Outfitters is your one-stop shop for all types of outdoor cooking. Tailgating? We've got Bayou Classic Barbecue Pits and King Cooker Jambalaya Pots. If frying's your favorite, check out r and Works Cajun Fryers and Cajun Injector Products to keep meat moist and flavorful. Black iron skillets are key in a southern kitchen, and Bowie carries a big selection of lodge cast iron, plus Bayou Classic Pots for your next crawfish boil. Come to Bowie Outfitters and let us get you cooking. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Man, what a year. What a year. Life changing. All the way from my home in Louisiana to the Great Lakes up north in Michigan. I did it. You know, I didn't do it by myself. It takes a team, man. It's all about the team. Nobody gets there alone. Nope. Man, thank you, Striking. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar node data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up to date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors. Managing wildlife is hard work, and Buckbuster's Seed Company understands. That's because we're hunters too. We've tested our seeds with science and developed a proven formula for attracting deer and turkeys. Unsure about what to plant on your food plot? Try our basic fall mix for hunting season success and our premium seed mix for year-round nutrition. Buckbuster's Seed Company, the most complete and cost-effective seed mixes on the market. It really is incredible what we're doing right now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys on board. We're going through six, eight inches of water at times at a real slow creeping pace. I mean, it's pretty incredible what this boat's doing right now. Holy, you got it. It's going down. Yeah, I'm in new. Oh, that's good. Just shot a very, very nice guard. Good. Trying to get them in right now. So right now we got big garfish on the line. They're using the boat as a tool to back up to it and see if we can land this fish. Alright, get on front of the boat. Get on front of the boat. Yeah.
We let our arrows fly and we filled up our ice chest. Don't get any more fun than that. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.